You still have Sir Grayson's cloak, though, so... Yeah, I imagine she's just, like, got it, like, tight around her, just, like, holding it. <laughs> Hyper-comfy mode. Yep, 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 yep. I am a burrito. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Basically, just snug it in as much as is humanly possible. That's, that's fair, that's fair. Alright, so... So, 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 so... Well, I don't need all this mechanic. You anymore. lose half your uh, movement speed. You're still faster than all of us. <laughs> just a wall. <laughs> Actually, with half, half movement speed, it would be... Yeah, yeah, literally 30, 30 feet. Yeah. You can yep. slow yourself down to our pace and, and waddling and come I, I had a bunch of Frostpunk music ready for if you guys did the chase nice. and, if, and or if you guys did the fight. Oh, man, I was, I was ready. <sighs> missed opportunity. And, and, um, yeah, it's a missed opportunity. That's okay. Though. We're still um, in the, the... We're taking the dangerous route. Yeah. You guys are taking the dangerous route, but you're not going to be in the winter dangerous route because going deeper into winter territory would be going opposite of. Um, oh, gotcha. Yeah, so Wild Fae is the center, leaving the cent. It's not the cent. Wild Fae territories as a whole is in the center, right? So by leaving, going towards winter, you'd be going further from the quote unquote center. Now that's a perfect circle, but. Oh, yeah. Did Varric want to go the slow path to try finding the shard? Is that what it was? I rolled a seven. I don't even have a chance of knowing that information. Who, who knows, man? That's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> All right. So, being atop a, and I quote, giant spiritual elemental fey elk, stag, my bad, spirit of endurance, um, you guys are not terribly slowed, even if Railker isn't allowed on the stag. Uh, I believe all of you guys otherwise are chillin'. Well, semi-literally, depending on who it is. No checks required on this. It's a lot easier of a time doing all this when, uh, you know, you aren't getting chased. So, you guys basically go back the way you entered Winter Territory. Not that you guys left a track behind, thanks to Sir Grayson. And not that the rangers left a track either. But, you guys exit out. Finally, finally, it, things become less and less chilly and cold. And it's, well, you guys quite literally cross a threshold, where as soon as you step across it, you know, the land goes, stops being frosted and dewy and just becomes normal, quote unquote, normal Feywild territory, normal greenery. And you guys are warmed up. I will say, uh, you guys can have healed and such in that period of time. If any of you guys are terribly wounded, I don't know how many of you guys actually are wounded though. Yeah, uh, I'm missing too. like 20 hit points. Uh, you don't have to roll a hit dice. Ab or Abigail can just heal you. Oh, okay. Yeah, she gets half of these back, or like some amount of these back for a short rest, so might as well heal you. And oh. also, um, an important note as well, inspiring leader, so get that uh, back. So 15 temp HP. Yeah, we're fine, look at that, look how much health we got, we're good. That was 18, yeah? 15. 15, 15, sorry. I know, Belkirk did a lot more damage than I thought he would. He, he, he packs a punch. <laughs> oh, also... Sort of, um, his, sort of his point in life. Yeah. Uh, I got minus maximum HP from an effect on the trees. That goes away at a long rest, I'm assuming. Correct. Okay, good to know. Thank you very for the... Uh, unless pace. someone busts a greater restoration on you, but... Uh, That's not useful. It's minus not, 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 not worth the spell slot. <laughs> yeah, no, big time. Also, I not think I also take a diamond of, like, like... like a diamond, which I don't think you guys have, so... Yeah. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Anyways, though. Yeah. Uh, does Ori get aid that uh, plus five one, or has that got to be during mm. a long rest? No, that's on a long rest, so the okay. next long rest you will get the benefits of aid, but uh, okay. Varric ain't recasting it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. One day we'll get an item for him to do it for free. He does have an item <laughs> that does to do it for free. <laughs> oh, shit, right, the ring. Or the... the yeah. The, yeah, it's supposed the to ring of power. The pearl ring of power. You guys enter back into Wild Fey territory. Lovely times, lovely times. 
Beautiful wild fader. Can all of you roll me uh, either perception, religion, or arcana? Uh, I will say okay. for Ray's doing per religion or arcana, you'll be using your wisdom in place of uh, intelligence. And for Rose, you'll be using your charisma in place of intelligence. Okay. Let's go. Uh, oh, luckily for me, they're the same number. But just unluckily okay, for me, sweet. it's disadvantage. Still rolled pretty solid. I'll take that. Yeah, so was it arcana, kind of religion, yeah. or what? Sorry. Hello. Arcana. It was it religion, religion, arcana, arcana, or perception? Or perception. Okay. What? Yep. It's sad. Forest <laughs> is forest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, there's a lot of trees. Well, wow. Oh yeah, that would be a religion. Yeah, uh, I'll apply this D4 to Ruhan and Ray's. So, oh right, oh, yes, yeah. I always forget about that. Twenty-two and fourteen. Uh, so, to only two third of the R group. Such a shame. Not the full one. Huh, I wonder what it, this could be. There's a giant R in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Our signal. Quick. <laughs> There's a pirate on it. That was a So, as you guys enter back into the Wild Fate territories, you guys detect, using your arcana, that the place is... How to say, resurgent as you guys enter back into it. Inviting. Adapting, maybe. Well, that's a response to all of you, or to Catalina, or some other shit. It's a bit hard to tell. Uh, actually, no, oh, you guys, you guys are the 20 and 22. Oh. It is reacting to you guys, having just had a massive spike in it and emotional energy at, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that sense of paranoia and caution and dread you guys have been feeling for the past out several hours outside I guess outside of being in Sir Grayson's Chapel of the Woods finally hit its climax, its peak, its its uh and not antithesis. Um Well I guess it is antithesis. Crescendo? Crescendo, there we go. And you guys you guys have that cathartic feel to it, you know? It's like, oh, I can finally take a breath. Like, like, as Ruhan points out, the traders have no reason to lie necessarily. So, and according to Catalina and her apparently not 20, 30, fucking nine or whatever uh, perception, they aren't around. She can confirm that. And she continuously checks and can reasserts that they are genuinely not around. So that is comforting. And now you guys can let, again, let a breath out. That the motions, that hyper state of focus you guys have been stuck in for a good while now, wash out. And the wilds, they feel it, taste it, drink it in. I will say, uh, the for the exhaustion effects of the cold, do rescind. I'm assuming you guys take a, like, a short rest for a brief moment once you guys cross the threshold to just get rid of those. So, those go away. So, Rel Kurtz goes away, Barracks goes away. Uh, I don't think, Rose, you had any from the cold itself? Correct. Correct. Yeah, so those are those are still stuck with it, right? Actually, make me a... Uh, I'll, I'll say a Constitution save. It's not really a save, but sure. um, it's... It's, it's, it's sort of similar. God, oh, I don't have less prepared. I hit myself with it. Anyways, Constitution. <laughs> That's a good roll. Well, you have disadvantage. Oh, I just ticked it on by accident. I have it on by default because I have disadvantage on ability set checks. Right. So it should so be the 20. Roll. Yeah. Okay. As you are basically the only one that really is getting carried by the, uh, the stag. Literally. And it is a spirit of endurance. It does inure you with its uh, not stoic energy. That's not what it is, but uh, surging energy, for lack of a better word. It's rejuvenating capacity, the ability to keep on going forward. I would say the DC was uh, eighteen, so <laughs> it's okay. a good thing you didn't have disadvantage. Actually, um, <laughs> remove one degree of exhaustion. Ew. 
didn't have to go to a capital for this. We just need a cool ass elk. I mean, the capital have gotten rid of all of them instantaneously, but, but yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, remove one degree of exhaustion as like you're chilling on the horse. Not horse, why did I say horse? Chilling on the stack. Yeah, I, f I feel like she just kind of like straightens up a little bit and seems. <laughs> is less kind of slouchy and tired looking. The stag stops, tilts its head, like craning its neck, looks at you, and gives you like a, see, eh, eh. sort of look, and then it just continues forward. Okay, maybe maybe I'm a little paranoid. Pat's the elk. Good elk. Does, so does the elk have a name? <laughs> he thinks about it. No, not really. I just call it stag. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> That's honestly for the best. I don't want to give its name away. Fair enough. You know, fair enough. Anyways. <laughs> it does have a name, but not one that it trades so freely. Yeah, the, that makes sense with the environment and everything. He stag. is stag. <laughs> stag, roach, yes. So, yeah, let's continue on. Can all of you roll me a d100? <laughs> Should the best Minotaur win? <laughs> oh my god, do we have to? Oh, oh, that's a 96. Oh, yeah. 93 and 50 flat. 60. I'm so close! Dude, you're so close! I'm so close to 67! <laughs> I know, dude! Oh, wait, that's a 76. That is a 76, as we it predicted! You're right. I, I told you, you, dude, this number is really creepy and how much it shows up, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going into Raises, Hearts and Desires. <laughs> no, we're talking about. As I roll a D100 of my own. Heck. Come on. 100. Yeah, that would I be did. crazy. If it was a 100, though, could you imagine how bad that would be? That would be wild. So that would be wild. The frost wild giant ride. horseman finds our asses. Dude, that <laughs> would be crazy. He did not. Nah, Ashton's report isn't a lie. Nah, so, so the for now he's not near you. For now, only for now. Though. For now, for now. So, uh, you guys been trekking and traveling, Catalina. Uh, as always takes point during such travel but she does stop every now and again and put her ear to like the trunks of trees runs her hands through the dirt and like sort of smears them with them before scattering the dirt and she just seems a bit intrigued her interest peaked discerning something and it happens not f like every like five feet that'd be bullshit but it does come up every like I don't know, 10 minutes or so, and it is so frequent enough that Abigail does ask her sister. Catalina, is something the matter? No, but something is up. What is wrong? I think the wads are taking a bit too keen an interest on us right now. Is that a bad thing? Is that... It's good when we wanted to, Abby. Why she looks over her shoulder as she's like crashed into the ground. She scans across you guys. Hmm. Oh well, she stands up and dusts her hands off. She stares intently at you guys, but doesn't say anything, and then just continues moving forward. And Abigail, at her sister's silence, just turns to you guys and just shrugs like, eh. Okay. Are we of an import here, or is it just the wild has nothing else to do right now? That's what I'm wondering. Surely the wild has better things to occupy itself with. The fire, if nothing else. But yet it's not. So I wonder why. We did 
fell up rather suddenly. I don't think that's okay. gonna change a lot of factors. <laughs> Many a soul shows up in the wilds rather suddenly. I suppose. But we did just come out of a pretty scary situation, so... Something like that? I, I don't know. the more important thing is a very alien situation. Even for the Fey Wilds. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Well, sitting well, up here isn't gonna solve that. No, indeed. we'll find out eventually, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And we are rather near our next destiny. Our. I say destination, next mode of transit. She points at a large rock formation, equivocal to like a large hill or a small mountain off in the distance, comprised entirely of different stones. That is where we're heading to. Where does it lead? It will lead to a grotto, an underground grotto. The grotto will have a river. The river will lead out to a waterfall in a different part of the Fey Wilds, here in the Wild Fey Territory. That will bring us immensely closer to where we need to go. The only catch is, I don't necessarily know as of yet, maybe when we get to the grotto I can find out, but as of right now, I do not know where the waterfall is next to currently. So, come on, pick up the pace. I would say you guys have been traveling for three hours, so I'm going to mark down two more uses of Sir Grayson's um, uh, majesty. Amazing. Yeah. Stag. I can, I, I can get off the stag if it helps save some resources. I think I'm fine now. Fine-ish. I will mark down only one then, so ah. so he has two remaining. Two remaining. He wants to hang out with if you stag. believe you're fit for duty, then I won't up to. Yeah. Two remaining. Should at least not slowing everyone down. And I don't think being on the stag for longer will benefit the last six rush. Maybe I don't know. Eh, so it'll be. She's getting off the stack, because saving resources is probably better. As you wish. <laughs> just, uh, just uh, no, no particular reason. Um, well, I know this is Sir Grayson's chapel. I can't get rid of this. What about this one? I'll just make a new slide. Let's make a new one, Lol. Just roll better than your opponent's, Lol. It's all simple. Yeah, it's so simple. Boop. Uh, it's this one. Yes, yeah, this one. Boom, boom, boom. Drag you guys here. Can I get a marching order, please? Why, why would you need a marching order? Just... The <laughs> opening to the underground entrance is approximately 30 feet wide. So, I'll say, like, I guess it would go, like, d d d Then 30 feet, six, there. Nope, that's wrong color. Nope, wrong color. And then we can't forget Sir Grayson of the Green. We got Roker. Down, down. Some of your chagrins. You got Catalina. You got, you got Abigail. There. That look good? With that. Man, this dog is going on a journey. <laughs> he's he's watching the flank. Understandable. Have a good day, sir. Also, what the fuck is this horse running at? What the hell? What? what how? Huh? Hmm? The one that Fred posted. I just saw it right now. 
Oh, oh that. How? Wait, what? How? Wait. Uh, very good. Edit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you can do that. Edited? It just takes time. Yeah. No, he just magically learned how to fly. Crash. No, I don't. Uh, no, shut the fuck up. Take a deep <laughs> break. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to figure out like, like how you would you would do this. Like, uh, do you put like a like do you paint the horse green and this is all a green screen or some shit? Like, what is no. this? What you do is you get probably like a small green screen, like, or er, small like kind of green suit, but only cover up just below the saddle kind of area because that's all you need. And then you would uh, get a shot of them uh, riding, and then get a shot of it, the camera just going by in the past, and you would just put it on. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's crazy. Yeah, basically, it's that's a shot crazy. Of the guy that's riding wild. Superimposed over the top of uh, just a moving background. Okay. Man, film techniques and like camera tricks are like fascinating and also Insane. frightening. Yeah. yeah. The most right. fucking terrifying so, one is when they're just like, oh, here's a dead person. Let's just make this person again. Make them alive. <laughs> make them alive. <laughs> Techno necromancy. Tech Technomancy? Tech necromancy. To necromancy? To necromancy. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Technomancer. Necro. Necro. Techno. Disco Mancy, whatever. Moving on. So, you guys begin going towards this tall standing rock formation. Or rather, the foot of it. Seeing that it descends not deeply, but it does have a gradual dirt, like just dirt, no grass or patches of any other sort of floor growing. Uh, descent into the earth. It is dark down there, unsurprisingly. Imagine not having dark vision. Could be Ruhan. Um, haha. Deck. But yeah. And here we are. Oh, wait. There are Should likely determine... things in here. I'm sorry. Should we determine who has yes. the badge and if that's attuned? <gasps> since we oh, have that is enough a... time. <laughs> that's pretty fucking important, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah, big time. <laughs> uh, do I have anything that gets buffed from proficiency? I think I have, like, no, that Attack roll, saving throw. Attack roll, saving throw. Same DC. Skill proficiencies. Literally, proficiency bonus is like something anyone can use. Yeah, that's the catch. Yeah, true. It's not a matter of who can use it better. Everyone uses it. I mean, Bard. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think in the absence of Fiat, Hamos could really use it. But I also have an empty attunement slot. Well, it makes its own attunement slot. So. <laughs> Shit. The biggest brainus. Can go. Hi. So who? Okay, that's a super question of who wants it. <laughs> who wants it? Oh, who I just realized, it? Fred. If you need to hop off at any point, feel free to. Yeah. As, as like the Very time. soon. Yeah. Yeah. As like the <laughs> time, I was like, shit. I mean, hey, at least you guys, at least you didn't have to go through the whole fucking chase and like midway had to tuck out because <laughs> there wasn't a chase. True was no chase. Would any of y'all in character want it? No. In character? Uh, it's a weird in-between of- You mad or you sad? <laughs> There's reasons. I don't know. In, in character, I think she would feel like neutral about this. As opposed to just absolute hatred, there's some neutrality there. Mostly because it, it was something given to us by Fia because of regret. <laughs> Purely because of that, it's just like, oh, there's... Nah. <laughs> I'll take it's it. Burning hot hatred. I'm sorry. I forgive you. <laughs> your, your rage is weak. <laughs> Alright, here. Uh, uh, we'll do it like this. Uh, hey, Chris, do, do you want to maintain it? What, sorry? Do you want to maintain it for Ori? I don't mind. If you guys don't want it, I mean, I'm not going to say, I'm not gonna say no. Bonus? My two hit bonus. Uh, Assume we're talking about the plus two right here. Dex plus two. Yes, yes, it is plus two. With a, well, total plus, plus ten. Six, ten. Hmm? To attack. Plus ten, and then a plus eight to your fist? Yeah. And then I mean, the other two. Because be uh, a plus eight, don't do it, Chief. <laughs> mm. Not at these leagues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and I also have, like, if it's attack-based stuff, I'm literally aiming at my boon to boost my uh, chance to hit anyways, so... If anything, give me a turn. It's also just the situation of Ori's a traitor, and... <laughs> mm, are we just gonna give it right back to them? That's a good point. That's a very good point. No, no, say that. Oh, Why would I never do that again? No. Yeah, it would be funny the second time, or it'd be extra funny because you yeah, felt for yeah, twice. Yeah. As My God. Or is actually just a spy. <laughs> right, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna toss it over to Rose, and Rose, you can determine what you do with it. <sighs> hey. I told you. And he tosses you the badge. Yeah. She looks like she's trying to think of like some some remark, but she can't. Yeah. Wants to keep it. There's a way to. Hey yo, what's that shiny thing? Not yours. You don't know that. I know it for. Hey, it's got magic body, huh? You ever think about that? It doesn't. It came it. from the ocean. I've been to the ocean. No, you haven't. You would die. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh my god. He just walks away. <laughs> he's, like a, uh, he's like a he's like a Skyrim NPC. <laughs> he walks up, says something, and just leaves. That's what happened. Please don't want no traitor badge. That's right. Mm -hmm. So think of I asked Garth to attune it. But bro, also, kind of that's some bad that. voodoo. Just saying. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. it do be some bad voodoo. It do be some bad voodoo. Bad voodoo. Uh, yeah. Cursed. It'd be a shame to not put it to use, but part of me wants to just shove it in the bag and forget about it. I mean, if you guys want. I will rip it right out of your bag if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. In that case, I'm gonna use it. There, there's honestly, there's no shot she's giving it to Ori. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Understandable. She don't just, just, just like that. Just met him. Your badge, man. I am offended. How could you? Um, do you want me to ch uh, change her thing? <laughs> uh, sure. I'm trying to find where it would be. It's in the cog section, top right. Don't worry, I got it. Top right, we changed proficiency bonus to custom, and then so you guys have oh. a plus uh, four right now, so I just changed on yours to a five. Bada bing, bada boom. And it since it's everything. an automatic sheet, everything should automatically be recalculated in terms of macros. That being said, if there are any class features or abilities and such that say you have a number of uses or add amount of uses or whatever shit yeah. equal to prof, you will have to refigure those out yourself. The sheet can't do that. I will look over that after session because. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, the, yeah, the only reason it would come into effect is I would say I'm, sorry, and I points happened. maybe. No, and points is fire level plus intelligence. So then yeah, then works. probably nothing. <laughs> I mean, if so, you yeah. want to let me add proficiency too, sure. Uh, you know, add it to your boon and maybe get a veto. We'll see. This is, we'll see what happens. Anyways, so what do we, what do we see ahead? As also, you look you down ahead, notice the raise of <laughs> dis dismay. <laughs> Oh, wait, I can do. Wait, no, wait. No, never mind. It's too, too late to do that. The voodoo badge. Uh, out. As you guys are standing outside this cavern, Kelly is crouched down next to some drag marks and a, and a set of tracks which lead into the cave. Hmm. She just smirks. Look too friendly. Seems there's a pest problem. That's fine. What a Do you know what a min lock is? Well. We They're little creatures. I don't know what sort of unholy thing or what evolutionary capacity evolved them to be the way they are, but. They're little. They're technically fairies. Though it's an insult to put me on the same level. The little fairies insectoid look similar to, uh, what's the ones? Umber hooks, I believe they're called in the motor realm. Oh. Small little things. Uh. No bigger than Relkert over there. But, uh, hey! It's an observation. 
Not an insult. Although, feel free to take it as one. Hey! <laughs> no Let's bigger than Relkert. They do delight in... Fear. Fear of the dark, fear of what lurks in it, so on and so forth. It can even whisper to you in your mind. Oh, that's... All so, right. if we hear uh, any dark whisperings or very kind whisperings, uh, just ignore them. Head on it. I doubt they'll be kind. I mean, it could be a trap kind of thing. I don't know. I don't think they're that intelligent, though, from your description. Hey, mm, they're decently the intelligent, but she shrugs. I've met and am far smarter. We'll be we fine. We should establish a code board in case we get charmed again so we don't kill each other. But if we're charmed, how do we know to use a code word? Last time we just couldn't determine who was who. If we say oh, it, yeah. we know the only proper response. Oh, okay, okay. The only proper response. I suggest tomato, with the password being pie. Who would ever say tomato pie? Yes, that does not sound very nice. I think, that's a, I think that's a type of pizza. It's no type of pizza I recognize, love. So you can't default pizzas uh, in half. Also, rule. Who's who? Just be a dangerous thing like to make assumptions like that, yeah? Ooh. Have you ever had a tomato pie, Grace? No. No, I'm talking about the intelligence of the creatures we know nothing about. I know them decently well. They're not it's smart, clever. but they can be clever. And these caverns... He nods. And just... Bears his teeth and growls a bit. What's their... Trust your senses. What's their taking on traps? They are smart enough for traps. And uh, if I'm being honest, they're likely to have some down in those caverns of theirs. It's not just a single tunnel or anything that leads to the grotto in question. And there may be other denizens down there. But at least from what I'm seeing, she points at the drag marks and these, like, uh, sort of like chicken, like chicken prong, like feet except like you know chicken like footprint is like super small this one's about the size of like a mouse pad so like you know about notice six inches or so. yeah notice me larger uh she just gestures at the tracks they have at least set up towards the exterior funny though i don't think they would come out to drag anyone in they are sensitive to she looks up at the sky daylight do you think they're desperate? Oh, I got a thing for that. Huh? Daylight and any bright light will be just fine. So they're either Run desperate ahead. for something or running from something deeper inside, maybe. Maybe something. No, they returned back in, so they must have retrieved something from out here. Weird. Whatever that may be, I don't know. Whatever it was, it was at least Relkert sized. Am I just a fucking metric now? You are because it offends you so much, apparently. Doesn't offend me at all. I'm honored. I don't doesn't know if you don't look very high. Doesn't take an insight roll to, to determine that that is a lie. Mm. <laughs> Fairies can't lie in deal making and such like that. That is true. They can engage in sarcasm, though. <laughs> they are allowed to do that. And if you didn't you take the sarcasm, that's over. You're fucking full. Looks over at Beric. Are we all ready? You know, I, he looks around, particularly behind you guys for a moment, and then he eventually returns your look and nods. Good. 
And this is a good point for me to duck out. Um, Aye, fair. If uh, we do get like attacked, yeah, uh, 